Hello, hello, hello. Just bear with me a second, guys. Happy Thursday. I do believe it is Thursday. Although my advertising said otherwise, and I apologise for that. Hello, Amanda. How are you, darling? All right. All right, so I'm just making sure everything is going good here this morning. I've had a lovely morning of, I say lovely relaxing morning off getting my nails done. But truth be told, I missed my nail appointment yesterday. Sorry, Gabby. So um, she fit me in today, which was, which was good because that wasn't ideal. Anyway, um, just turning my comments on, see who's watching. Rebecca, morning, Beck. Now, can everyone hear me okay and see everything okay in front of me? Cool, good, great. Look at that, I didn't even wait for an answer. I just assumed that you all did. Um, treadmill viewing. Oh, look at you go. I, uh, I went to boxing last night, so that was my exercise and today I reckon I've done about seven million steps already so um okay so for those of you who are just tuning in hey Tina um as part of the Great Australian Craft Show I am doing a couple of live demos a day just sharing the love around hi Samantha hi Jenny hey Tammy oh Tammy hey and Lise um Thanks. I've got little diamantes on my nails this time, although I'm, I'm hoping they'll last more than five minutes. Um, okay, so anyway, sidetracked. Today is, as part of the Great Australian Craft Show, we are, I've got special on nataliemay.com.au, but today's special, today's daily deal is stamps and stencils are 15% off. So what that means for you guys is why has that gone out of focus? Hang on. Um, what that means for you guys is you can, I apologise if you get seasick, I'm just checking my Wi-Fi. Um, you can get some bargains, guys, and you can get lots and lots of bargains. Just bear with me just a second while I sort my Wi-Fi. Oh, and we're back. Sorry, sorry. All right, sorry about that. Um, there we go, that's better. <laughs> so sorry, because um, I've been walking around all over the place between the studio and the house, the Wi-Fi has changed. Um, okay, so, um, Great Australian Crowd Show number seven, stamps and stencils, today only 15% off. So that includes the brand new Paper Rose as well as the new Ultra New, which are the ones that I'm going to be using today. New stencils I uploaded and stamps from Scrap Effects were uploaded last night, so they are on special. And then I have just decided in the last like minute and a half prior to going live, that I have just put these guys on special. So I have knocked them down to 50 bucks instead of 62. And I'm gonna show you how amazing they are. So, um, the other things on special on nataliemay.com.au, you will find a lots of bits and pieces. You'll find anything Christmas is on special 15% off as well. So I thought today I would show you how to use the brush pens, the ultra new brush pens, how to use a stamping platform and how to do some simple coloring with stamps. So I'm just going to pop those aside. Um, do many of you use a stamping platform? I never thought I needed one until I used one. This is the one that I have online and from memory they are quite inexpensive, maybe under $40, but they are great. They are fantastic. The reason being, and I'll show you how to use it. This is mine, mine is a different brand, but you get the idea, they all work same, same. Let me just make a little bit more room here. 
Oh, look, Annalise, if you like, if you stamp, if you are a stamper, then this might change the way that you stamp, especially if you're not a confident stamper. So I've got a paper rose clear stamp here. So this is the new Modern Poppies Clear Stamp. And what I want to do is I want it to go there. It's that simple. So all I do is put it down, put the arm down. And it's now going to stick to the acrylic on this side here. My piece of paper is here and I, all, they all come with a magnet to hold your paper in place. A little bit of a tip, grab some washi tape and wrap your washi tape around the magnet so that it is easy to pick up. It'll make life significantly easier and won't make you swear as much. Um, give yourself a nice inky ink pad. That is always the key. So I'm using a black archival ink because that is the one that is not going to run with water. I did a top up of those last night. The big jumbo ink pads are back in stock. So the good thing here is that I can stamp on ink onto there, fold the arm over, and then just give it a nice even pressure to do that. And that's going to stamp the image. Now, the image hasn't stamped all that great. So as the added bonus, I can now re-ink my stamp and it's going to, I can re-stamp it in exactly the same place. And it's not going to move, it's not going to smudge, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to um, have it not aligned, um, but it now has a lovely crisp stamped image. So the other really cool thing about this is so there we go, that is perfectly, where's my camera, there we go, perfectly stamped. The other really great thing about this is, is if you are stamping onto watercolour paper, watercolour paper is notoriously bumpy. Even the smooth ones will have a little bit of a groove in it. So the watercolour paper that I put aside for myself, oh, here we go. Here it is. I usually, I like to make it a little bit thicker. It's got a bit of a cushy background to it as well. So watercolour paper, paper has got lumps and bumps, right? So when you are stamping, the first time you stamp, it won't go into the lumps and bumps. So this is the Alter New Flower, the name that I can't pronounce. Oh, look, guys, I'm not even going to try and say that. Louise, what do you reckon that says? Oh, yeah. Spanish. We'll just call it the really pretty, pretty flower. <laughs> um, from Spain. The, the pretty flower from Spain. So what I'm going to do is I want to stamp it. I want it to be there. So I turn it over face down so it's exactly where I want it to be. Put the arm down. Lift it up again. And like I said, because watercolour paper is bumpy, I need to stamp it a few times in black. I know that for a fact. It's not going to be perfect the first time. Sorry about the camera shake. So you can see that's a bit, it's a bit crap. So um, what I'll do is stamp it again. And do you know what? I can do it one more time just to make sure that I'm really getting in all of those gaps. Oh, and it must have moved. Oh, bugger. Okay. Look at me. I got it wrong. But, okay. You get the picture. You can go over it again and again and again. But because of my camera shake and my table shake here, it's misaligned. So that is the advantage of doing that, is that you can line it up again and again and again and give yourself the opportunity to give you, to like to the bits that you miss. Get back in there and stamp those. 
Um, so very good investment tool for those of you who like to do stamping. So I have pre-stamped a couple of images here ready to go. Um, this is the Alter New stamp and I've done this one on watercolour paper, this one on plain cardstock. This is the Paper Rose stamp and this is the Paper Rose stamp on the plain cardstock. So I'm going to colour both of these for you today, both of these images and have a bit of a play with them. So because the stamps and stencils are 15% off, it's the perfect opportunity for you to buy some bits. All right, so the watercolour brush markers from Alter New are really nice to use, really pretty. I had a bit of a play with them as soon as uh, the shipment arrived and I have opened the Bright Tropical Fiesta set. So they are... Um, there's also a... A spring garden set which has got different colors in it beautiful tones all the colors are actually on the packet um, the autumn set autumn festival which is exactly that more autumn colors and of course the winter wonderland set which has got these lovely warmer tones as well so uh, the colors are lovely and they're not there's no crossover in the colors either so um, when you first use them you take off unscrew them, take off that little fluoro cap. That's what's stopping them leaking during transit. Okay, so that bit just slips right off and then you um, just give it a little bit of a squeeze to get it to happen. So I can now color mess free and I've got full control over how much comes out. The other thing I can do is just using a wet paintbrush is I can thin that out and work with that and shade with it. So that's that's it. It is mess-free water coloring. So I think I'm just going to make a start here with the Alter New one. So like I did yesterday, I always swatch first. I always make sure that I swatch first. Um, always have handy I'm going to take my caps off. Always have handy a piece of paper so I can test before I colour um, so that I know exactly what I'm working with. Um, I've got a little bit of water off to the side here as well and I want to just lightly colour. So I could actually also use, if I had remembered to do it off camera, um, a, a like a water brush. So I can still move it around. This is on the watercolour paper. So I'm just going to move between the two greens. I'm just going to move between the two greens and build up a little layer. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a prime. There we go. I'm making a little puddle on my mat here if it's a little bit juicy. And build those two colours together. So really, really simple without... I guess the mess of the watercolour palette so and it's just in a pen excellent if you're traveling so I know it's not happening but it might one day soon um, <laughs> Rebecca just grabbed that stamp online which one did you get Rebecca I haven't I can't see who, what the orders are so um, you have to excuse the dogs barking Ollie that's enough mate We're in the suburbs here, guys, so, and that's my dog barking. Ollie, it's enough. Oh, disobedient little brat. Um, so all I've done now is I'm just taking a little bit of, just a wet brush, just a little puddle that I'm working with on my mat here, just to spread out the colour. So if the colour's a little bit more intense in spots, I can get in there and just quickly work with that so if you're one of these people that loves to color stamped images I actually think that these pens are for you so how's everybody's morning going are we all are we all enjoying our day so far 
going okay? Anyone doing anything fancy on this Thursday? Louise and I have been very busy packing orders for all of you. Hey, Leslie. How's Tassie this morning, Leslie? Is it a nice day over there or is it a bit, a bit ordinary? So as you can see, I'm just picking up a little bit of color from these bits that I squeezed out here. So I can control, totally control what is coming out of totally control what's coming out of my pen. Um, I've got another leaf going on here. Give that a little color bef oh, before I go to up in there. So, and I reckon that's a leaf. That's the back of a leaf there. Now I'm not being perfect. Being perfect is overrated. I'm going for a watercolored look. So i um, pretty happy with how those greens have come out. Okay. Um, now, with the flower, I'm going to go with... What colour have I got here? I've got this gorgeous... What sort of flowers are they? I don't really know. But we'll go with a red and a little bit of... Dun, 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 red and orange. So, same thing. Before I start... Just going to give it a squeeze on there so I know what I'm working with. And there's my orange. I can see exactly what I'm working with. Pop my lid aside. Now my flower needs to have a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to put the light bits on the top of the petals. And then I'm going to add the red to the bottom for depth. And because, like I said, it's watercolour paper, I've got a little bit of room there. A little bit of room to play with and I'm going to grab some water and just spread that around so it doesn't have to be super bright I can also lighten it out with just water so that's what I've just done there I'm not reading the comments sorry guys what pens are they so Leslie, I'm working with the Ultra New brush pens. So the current set that I'm working with here is the Tropical set. And they um, there's four different colour sets. I've just put them all on special for a few hours. Okay, so they are... Oh, I like that. So they are on special for um, a couple of hours. There we go. So you can see there's a bit of shading going on there too. Um, and they are a watercolour marker. So that means that they've got, they work beautifully on watercolour paper to start with, but that means that they've got that mobility to move around a bit on your page. So um, you'll find them under Alter New on the website nataliemay.com.au and they will be on special until the end of today okay so i'm just put down my orange on this one first sorry i just realized i've just probably moved off camera Got red on my hand um I think these might be ideal for those people who don't like too much mess as well. Because I know you are out there. I've met a lot of you. <laughs> and that's okay. There's no judgment there. Um, all right, there we go. So a little bit of colour there. I think these are the buds. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of a, a light colour. So the Ultra New... The Ultra New pens come in four different colours. Um, so definitely the key when you are doing this is to stamp with the correct ink. So if you have a different... If you're stamping with something like a Distress ink, that ink, of course, is going to reactivate and you're going to lose the integrity of your image. And you're going to end up with a, a muddy mess. 
So you need to make sure that you are stamping with a archival ink, a waterproof ink. So the ones that I sell are the ones that I recommend. I'm currently trialing a couple of other brands, which I'm hoping to get in soon, um, which is always good to, like I said, I, I always trial first because I don't want to recommend something that, you know, I've never used. What's the point of doing that? Um, all right, now I need to, I've missed a bit here. And I really love that these have got a really lovely fine, super fine tip, or I can go really, really thick. Okay, so because it is a um, paintbrush, I can do that. So let me show you that, that finished image. I do need to do a little bit more blending around that bit I've just noticed. All to new brush markers. Yes, that's the ones. So I'm just flicking that, that water back into there. Uh, sorry, that red back into there. And now I'm just going to blend it a little with a little, little of the orange. Um, and I'm not, like, you can see that I'm not making it perfect. I'm leaving a lot of white space. And that's because... It kind of gives a bit of a reflection sort of look. So that's much better blended. All right, so there's my first one done. I'm pretty sure that took like almost no time. I'm going to pop that off to the side to dry. And I'll do another, I'll do the paper rose one, the, the new, what's it called? The poppy? Modern poppies. Um, I will do that one on the plain cardstock, not watercolour clean off my mess. I'm feeling the need to open a second packet of these but so this one here is really nice. So this is the winter set. It's got a much deeper red in it which I think would be amazing for poppies um, and it has this gorgeous blue and these teals which I really love. Um, this set's got this gorgeous bright pink in it. Rubelite it's called. Um, and then this has got this gorgeous pale pink candy. So the colours are absolutely lovely. So you know what? Let's just break out of the mould a little bit. And I'm going to go in and do a hot pinky purple poppy. I know, it's not right. But will this work on something that's not watercolour paper? Absolutely. You just need to be a little bit more accurate and a bit more decisive because it hasn't got the right surface to soak in on so what that means is that i need to not procrastinate so much i just need to get in there so i can i'm mixing the colors i'm adding a red to this one and my paintbrush i need a puddle of paint in front of me here and I'm just doing a little wash of water just over the top to tie those together. There we go. Um, sorry, I've got my paintbrush in my mouth, which is not ideal. So I'm just going to work on the edges with the purple. Pop a little bit of the red in the middle. And then tie it together with a wet paintbrush. And it gives me a loose blend. It creates a new colour, but it gives a nice loose blend. So, um, yes, thank you, Rebecca, for answering that question. Um, I have popped them on, to, on special for today. They only arrived in 24 hours ago. So I know some of them have been purchased already, so I'm not too sure what the quantities are left. But for those of you who do love a, a watercolour technique but want something a little perhaps easier then this is your, this will definitely be your go-to. Um, now, definitely not traditional poppy colours. Um, oh, sorry if the picture's a little bit blurred. I can see it sharp on my end here. So I apologise about that. Um, I'll bring it up to the camera and show you just what I've done. So that's coming up quite nice. So I will whip through the rest of this. 
But this one I'm going with the much less is best option. I'm going in with a little bit of colour, but I'm using more water to help tie it all together. And working in a small area is certainly going to make it easy for you as well. We tend to get totally carried away about getting all the colour on there at once. Because it is a flower, I like the idea of working petal by petal or working in a couple of petals at a time so that I don't give it too much time to soak in. If you leave it too long to soak in, like I did that time, I end up with a bit more of a line. And that's not something that, that looks as nice. Okay. This might be one of my new favourite ways to colour, I'm thinking. Mind you, the watercolour paints I played with yesterday were pretty nice. And it does certainly help on plain cardstock, which is what I'm working on now. If the paper is a little bit damp first, it will certainly um, stop the, the, the colour soaking in. So... Um, I've just, I'm just having a, a little experiment and playing with that now. Um, all right. So let's take a bit of my own advice and actually do that. And that's possibly a bit too much, but you know what? Let's commit to it. So yes, today only you've got stamps and stencils at 15% off. So that means All Stencil Girl, which is my favourite international brand that I work with. Stencil Girl stencils are 15% off and I will be doing a little demonstration this afternoon and I will be using some stencils. Haven't exactly worked out what I'm using yet, but we'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. Um, the All Stamps, including, I've got a great range of Lawn Fawn and... Um, Avery Earl, which are amazing for colouring. St uh, Paper Rose, which is, of course, Australian. And what else have we got? We've got lots and lots and lots of, whoops, Christmas stamps. Plenty of Christmas stamps, and they are all 15% off as well. So make sure you take a little time to look through. Um, now, if you have already placed an order with me on the weekend, oh, sorry, over this week, don't forget that you can utilise the No Judgment Shipping, which is the one cent shipping. So what that means is if you place your order and order the first time, you pay shipping. The second time you select, if you do a second order on another day, you just select No Judgment and I will put all of your orders together so that they all get shipped together on Monday. So then this way you are, or Tuesday, um, this way you are getting good value for money. Yes, we say Tuesday because it's been a busy couple of days and um, we, I might not get them all, we might not get them all packaged in the one day. There's a fairly good chance that that's not going to happen. Um, all right, so now I'm just adding some green for the leaves. And I'm being quite loose again. I'm making sure that I'm leaving a little bit of white showing and I'm using sweet leaf, which is kind of perfect for the leaves. leaves. So when I'm doing one like this, because I've got a super fine tip, I can colour the stems perfectly ish and apparently I can't talk and concentrate sorry guys oh gorgeous and I'll bring it up to camera in a moment just to show you so it does work really nicely on watercolour paper oh I haven't done the middles of the flowers have I so again, I always test first to make sure that I don't have too much liquid, which I just did, on my brush. If I do have too much liquid, I can just take my paintbrush, spread it around, and go from there. 
This one's a bit dark, but you know, that's okay. So that's worked really quite nicely. And they take no time to dry. Okay, so what are we going to do with it is the next question. Bless you, Louise. Are you, how many sneezes? Are you good? <laughs> Get a couple there. All right. So love that. Love that, love that, love that. So the next thing I can do, I mean, this would look amazing if I was to do it on, um, how am I going for time? Plenty of time. You know what? Let's do another one. So I'll do one, I'll do the poppy on watercolour paper this time and I will do something a little different. I'm going to do it in, no I'm not, I'm going to do an orange one which is, is not a thing. But this time what I'll do, because it's on watercolour paper, I'm just going to wet my flower first and I'm going to do just a smaller amount of liquid on here and I'm going to let the water move, the wet paintbrush and the water Give, give it a softer finish, just to show you that it can be a much, much softer, softer style. So it doesn't have to be super bright. Because it's water and water-based, the water's going to control what's going on here. So now if I just add a little yellow just to lighten that up, where I was a little heavy-handed... And it's nothing more than just having them in my hand in front of me, not giving myself too much option. If I go too bright, like I've just done there, wet paintbrush, spread it around. I hope I'm not making this look too hard. I'm just gonna grab some paper towel. That's better. So just dabbing that off with a paper towel is not only taking the wetness off it, but this one was a little bit darker than the others and I really wanted it to be a little bit more, oops, a little bit um, more sedate, a bit more pastel based. So same thing again, I can just dab it off and still get a really lovely, pretty light flower from colours that look like this, that are super duper bright. And then I will quickly whip up a card in a second to show you what you can then do with this. So the other thing that's on special this week that I forgot to mention, all Lindy's products. So Lindy's Magicals and Sprays are also 15% off. So I did a bit of a demo on Monday morning using the Lindy's Moon Shadow Sprays. And you can scroll back through my Facebook to see how they are used. Um, at the end of the show, I will actually upload all of my lives straight onto YouTube. So that you can go back and watch them at any time and find them really easily, um, which is important. You want to be able to find things um, really quite simple and find them all in one place. Um, that's really dark there, so I'm just going to use a little bit of water to tone that back a little bit. And then dab it off. And it's just taken a little bit of colour out. So just finishing it off by doing my leaves. Um, so yeah, this afternoon I thought I would do some stenciling. Um, I haven't quite worked out if I'm going to do a scrapbook layout maybe or a card. I suppose I could do some quick Christmas cards with some foil accents perhaps. What do you think? That would be the thing to do. I actually like that one better. That's much nicer. Much, much nicer. Um, okay. So there you go. So that's just from two colours from the brush pens and not overthinking it. So 
super simple. I'm just going to pop the, these lids back on before it goes everywhere. And I have been keeping them um, stored in the packet, but I would probably store them um, brushes up like that in a jar normally on my desk. I would not be storing them like that. That would be asking for trouble. That would be making all the paint just fall out of the um, tips. So, all right, so let's do something with this card. My paper trimmer is here. And I'm going to trim this down to six by four. So yesterday uh, I did a a live Facebook all about my favorite tools um, and you can grow, go back and find um, lots of information about that but you will find um, some information about the trimmer that I'm using here this is my favorite little guillotine uh, and this is the small guillotine which is perfect for card makers I have uh, have one as well which is bigger that I use for scrapbooking so just trimming this down to a size that I can use so it's a little bit smaller than six by four and not even remotely straight let me do this properly and hold it pro there we go and there we go that's better so you guys put me under pressure to get that straight it's all your fault okay so this is the one on the watercolour paper. Um, I don't even have a card handy. Let's use this as a card front. And now I can stamp a sentiment. So the paper rose stamps that I've got here have got just believe in yourself, hello, be fearless, have courage, happy birthday and lovely. So I like be fearless. So I, there's a couple of things I can do now. I can either go back to using my little stamp block for that, or if I decide to use my um, pad, my stamping platform, I need to pop that on there, place the magnet on, and then I can put my stamp exactly where I want it to go. Put the arm down, ink it up, and voila, done. So I have no excuse for getting that perfect. Well, it didn't move this time, so um, even better. So how, what would I do next? Grab my black pen. And I want to give it a, a, a nice frame. So I'm just using the pilot pen, which is the click pen, which has got a lovely, fine, easy line. And what I like about doing a border all the way around is that it takes the focus away from the, from the imperfections. So if everything about this was perfect, A, I'd be showing off because like, let's be honest, that's not going to happen. But what is important is that it takes the focus away from the imperfections in your stamping or the color, or sorry, the paper trimming or something like that. So just a little border creates that frame. I really like that. So let's finish this one up. With this one, I'm going to be a little bit more brutal. And I'm going to cut into it a decent amount. So I've cut it off the bottom. This one has got Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful. So I'm going to put that on the top. So that's on that Ultra New stamp set. 
And I'm going to use the stamp platform again since that works so beautifully that time. I'm going to use the magnet to keep it in place. Put the arm down. I think I've got that straight. My perspective here is a little off because of the way that the camera is sitting and I can't see directly on top of it. But let's see what happens. Oh, nailed it. Yes, I do sound surprised. <laughs> um, all right, so same thing again. Black border. And I might match these on a piece of either coloured cardstock or black cardstock and then pop them onto a card ready to send out to somebody I love. Oh, have I got time for one more? Yep. Yeah, of course I do. Paper trimmer. All right. So this one, I'm going to be a bit of a rebel and I'm going to trim this way first. So just a bit of a tip, I always make sure that my stems are coming off the page. Um, if I had left the stem just sitting there, they're not really anchored to anything and they need to be anchored. They need to be attached to something. So with this one, I'm going to cut in tight. I want half a flower and I'm okay with that. So this is the new beautiful paper rose poppies, modern poppies. And this one I'm going to put one of the other sentiments on. What have we got? What's going to fit? Just believe in yourself. And again, I'll use the stamping platform. So then I have no excuse to mess it up in theory but I'm human. Oh. Close enough. So now it has stuck to the acrylic. I'm going to ink it up. Julie, why does there have to be a whole flower? Why? Who said that I have to have the whole flower? Why can't it be half a flower? Why can't I cut the flower up? Oh, nailed it. Look at that. Bloody perfect. Um, who says that I have to use the whole thing? I say no. All right. Same thing again. black pen, a confident line all the way around. <laughs> yeah, Julie would be rocking backwards and forwards in the corner, I know. And I understand some people need to do perfection and I can appreciate that, but I'm not that person because I create to have fun and to make something pretty, not so somebody else can go, oh my God, she didn't put that on straight. I don't have time for that in my life, people. Move on. Move on. All right, done. See how a bit of a border all the way around. Okay, just to recap, um, I'm not going to fluff around anymore with these. I'm keeping them super duper simple. We have used the, we've used a stamping platform 
and some black archival ink to stamp new alter new stamps and new paper rose stamps which are 15% off today only for all stamps and all stencils so this is the alter new one that we use the I can't say that jalapeno flower we'll say it's not what it says and I apologize to those people who can pronounce that um, I also use the new paper rose modern poppies clear stamp and the sentiments stamping with the platform makes it easy and precise you can stamp it again and again and again to make sure that you have got that perfect I then used the ultra new watercolor brush markers which are incredibly awesome and I think I have to open these packs I have no willpower um, they're so easy to use and that's what I just used to color those with these are the colors that I swatched out of the tropical set uh, they are absolutely divine so what I have done with those hi Tina nice of you to show up at the end darling um, so these are the alter new I'll write something fabulous alter new brush markers uh, and they are normally $62 but because I think all you guys are just awesome just awesome I'm gonna mark them down for today look if I was one of those amazing people that could do brush script these would be the best but I can't so that's what you get um, so they are now only fifty bucks which is a twelve dollar saving like that's pretty pretty spectacular um, so that's it from me for today um, I'm going to well for this morning afternoon it is now oh, I'll do another one back here at I think I decided I was going to do another live Facebook at around 3 3 30 but I will put up a little live Facebook alert so that you can come back um, so 15% off stamps and stencils just for today you can still get 15% off Christmas products uh, so please utilize the Christmas savings um, the what else is 15% off Louise 15 everything Christmas, everything Christmas we just said that everything Christmas and oh I've had a brain fade oh Lindy's products are 15% off as well um, as well so yes jump online nataliemay.com.au and um, take take advantage of the no judgment shipping and um, which is only one cent uh, for your second order other than that I look forward to seeing you all back again this afternoon um, take care wash your hands kiss your kids and your husband and I'll chat later thanks guys